We live in a twilight world and are no friends at dusk. What you're looking at here is the Starlink, what they call the Starlink. Now, about this time last year, I can't remember if we, it was like a lockdown, but it, was, it must have been a sort of semi-lockdown because the gyms were open. It was a Saturday night, about 11 p.m. And I thought, I'm going to go to the gym, right? And I packed my bags, jumped in the car. I got to the first roundabout and I was like, I can't be fucked with the gym tonight. And I'd done a U-turn and headed back to my home and I got out of my car and I looked up and I saw Starlink. Now, it didn't look anything like this picture here. This picture is just a generic picture I found on Google. What I saw was these, to me, looked like stars equally spaced out a lot, spaced out a lot more than these ones, equally slowly moving across the sky like a train, like train carriages. And I felt, I felt, I had a lot of emotions looking at them, man. I mean, I felt very uncomfortable. I felt very blown away and I felt very insignificant looking at these things. Now, I don't believe for a second that they are satellites on a string from Elon Musk. That, of course, is the mainstream thing they want you to believe. I don't buy that for a second, man. What they are, I don't know. This is something I would like you guys to jump in and and discuss. And, uh, you know, especially if you've seen them with your own eyes. How did you feel? To me, I felt like I was looking at an invasion. No different than when you see a load of tanks rolling in you know, many tanks in a line rolling into a city to overtake it. It was like that. That's how I felt. I don't want to scare people and say there's an alien invasion. I don't really believe in little green men from outer space. But I don't know, man. I definitely saw this with my own eyes, man. And it was, um, yeah. It gave me, it gave me, it brought out feelings in me that I haven't really had before. You know, what are they really, you know, what is it? What What is it really? What are we looking at? Was the sky clock adjusting itself? Was that an invading kind of energy force coming into our reality? I mean, I found it interesting that during the lockdowns, you know, they had the whole masses locked down in their house, watching crappy Netflix, eating crappy food. They did not want people outside looking at this kind of thing. Another thing I saw in 2020 for the first time with my own eyes was a sun halo. Now, yeah, again, it didn't look like this picture here. This is just a generic picture I found on Google. Funnily enough, all of the pictures I took, I filmed it on both of my phones. I always carry around two phones, an Apple and an Android. I took pictures, I filmed it, I even put like the um, the camera behind my sunglasses to film it that way. I took loads of pictures and guess what? They all vanished off my phone. Now the difference is all the pictures I keep seeing on Google is always clouds. I saw it on a clear blue sky. And I don't believe, yet again, what I tell us, that it's ice crystals. It was a sunny day. The sun was blazing. There was no clouds in the skies. I don't, yeah, I'm not buying it as ice crystals. I think it's something much greater. Now, any of you who have listened to me on podcasts and stuff, I've always kind of said, and I kind of, at this moment in time, believe that what they called the coronavirus was, yeah, it's a coronavirus to the parasites and to the vampires that live here amongst us. But to us real ones, us humans, it was a corona upgrade. And that's why they didn't want you out in the sun. Something's going on with that sky clock. And maybe we'll never have the language to explain what it is. But what happens up there, I feel, is very important to what happens down here. As above, so below and so on. 
I mean, there's no denying our reality has changed 2020. And whoever mapped out this um, Gregorian calendar put in... Well, they lined up the dates very well in that 2020, this all happened. Interesting stuff. So, yeah. Please, guys, let me know if you saw Starlink with your own eyes and what you think. I mean, yeah, I'm not a believer in outer space aliens. I'm not even a believer in space is what we're told. I'm not a flat earther. I'm not a rounder. I don't get involved in all that shit. One thing I do agree on, though, is I think there is a, some kind of shield, what the flat earthers would call a firmament that stops us getting out of here, you know, like, or, and maybe stops things getting in. But maybe that was the gods coming back. The old ones coming back. Maybe it was the invasion of the body snatchers moving from one part of this uh, map to another. It was incredible, man. To watch it was incredible. And I'm just so glad. I'm so glad that night something inside me told me not to waste my time at the gym and go home. And I saw that. Now, what I'll tell you another thing before I end this little, um, this very quick chat. When I was looking at this sun halo, I was like, whoa. It's because the first time I've ever seen it, I was really, again, blown away. I looked around, none of the NPCs or normies cared. They weren't looking, they weren't bothered, they weren't getting their cameras out. You know the ones that take pictures of anything and everything? They had no interest in this sun halo. So, was I the only one seeing this? Was it only for my eyes? Do I have different lenses on than, than the NPC and the normies? Do I have, you know, metaphorically speaking, my they live glasses on? It's all possible, man. How how the Instagram obsessed, selfie obsessed masses that take pictures of everything weren't weren't all aware of their cameras out snapping this is beyond me, man. It's like they couldn't see it. Interesting stuff, man. See, back in the day before we had all of these black cube devices, these 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 evil black cube control mechanisms. Think how many humans were just out at night, you know, using the sky as their TV screens, taking it in turns, looking for anything, you know, significant. I mean, that's what I'd probably do if. If I could, you know, if I if I if I ruled the world, should we say, I would, um, you know, I'd make sure everyone was fed and had somewhere to um, a warm place to sleep and whatnot. But man, I would make I make sure we all took it in turns and getting out in the sun, while the other half were kind of at night checking out the stars above us to see what's going on. Who knows? There's there's probably there's probably messages in the in the stars every night that we miss. For me, on a personal level, it's kind of that thing. I mean, do I get out in the sunshine in the daytime? Or do I be a night owl and get out and watch the stars? Currently, I more opt for the sunshine. That's where I choose to be. But maybe in the winter, I should start... You know, when it gets darker earlier, I should start getting out and... Um, being a true astrologist and really mapping out these stars, you know? We live in a twilight world. There are no friends at dusk. <laughs>